What is up guys, Ram Hanawan here and welcome to Yu-Gi-Oh! number 93. In this episode we are covering two things. One, we're covering a new Duelist pack com that's coming out. And the second thing we're covering is a card that is going to be in the Duelist pack and it's possible uh, in-game trading card game effect because it currently doesn't have one. It's only listed at its anime effect which I think is pretty interesting and I got an idea of what it could actually be in the game. So let's get into it. So the Duelist pack we are we are gonna get we're gonna get Duelist pack Shark and Rio. It's a Duelist pack in the Yu-Gi-Oh official card game. It's the 15th set in the OCG's Duelist pack series, following Duelist pack Yama 2, Go Go Go, and Do Do Do, which is uh, coming out in September 2013. And uh, this Duelist pack comes out in October 2013. So this pack obviously is going to contain cards from uh, Rio and Shark. Shark is the guy who uh, uses the Shark cards, of course. Uh, we've had a lot of Shark cards come out in this um, this fourth series. I believe Zexal is the fourth series of Yu-Gi-Oh! Or Season, whatever you want to call it. And um, yeah, we've had a lot of new Shark cards. There were some previously, but this is where the, it's really formed and become its own archetype. And then Rio is the chick in the anime, I believe, who uses the things like um, the Blizzard Falcon, the the water birds, pretty much winged beast water monsters. So, yeah, Shark. This is mainly going to be a water themed duelist pack because they both use water type cards. So yeah, more war support, I guess. I mean, Jesus Christ, we have had a lot of that. I mean, uh, uh, Abyss Rising, I believe the pack was. That just threw a bunch of water support at us and whew, it just kept coming, it just kept coming. But anyway, that's what um, this pack's going to contain, it's one of those packs that contains five cards per pack, uh, which um, I, don't, I don't really like about that, but there are only 30 cards in total, so I guess it's alright. I just wish these packs would be cheaper there. They're always the same price, even though they have less cards, but anyway. The card that we're covering is number 73, Abyss Splash, the Roaring Waterfall Deity. Now this is a XYZ, rank 5, water, 2400 attack, 1400 defense, requires 2 level 5 monsters, and its effect reads, cannot be destroyed except with number monsters. Now that's obviously gonna, that's obviously not gonna transfer into TGC or OGC, that's a pure anime effect. But its other effect reads, during either player's turn, you can detach one XYZ material from this card, double this card's attack into the end phase, uh, into the end of the battle phase. That's a very interesting effect. So it has 2400. So if you use this effect, it's going to double up to 4800. Now, obviously this isn't going to be the case. You're not going to be able to double this card. Well, I wouldn't assume so. I uh, maybe you could, but I wouldn't assume so. You're obviously not going to be able to double this card's attack to 4800. And just have free reign with it. Attack directly, uh, attack your opponent's monsters, uh, so on and so forth. He's going to have a little bit of restriction. I think restriction is simply going to be you cannot attack directly with this card. It's going to be one of those things that's going to save you. Your opponent's not going to attack it until they have something that can take it down. Or if they want to get rid of a XYZ material on it. So say, let's for example, they have a blue eyes white dragon and they just attack this. They, You know or they know even that you're going to use this effect to double this attack but they're going to get rid of the XYZ material so it goes down a material, they do it again, goes down a material again and then um, it's left open and then they can, uh, they can attack it but I think that's what it's going to be, I think this card is going to have a very similar effect, detach one XYZ material, maybe two double this card's attack until the end of the battle phase, I think that's fair enough and I think the extra effect for TGC or OGC uh, is going to be this card cannot attack directly. So, yeah, it's a pretty good card. Don't think I mentioned it was. It's a water warrior type, and uh, the artwork looks really nice on it actually. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm I'm actually really happy with this card. It's gonna work really well in the shark arc type, and I believe um, those blizzard falcons, those water winged beast monsters, are getting rank fives. I believe it's. A, it might be a rank fours, but I believe there's rank fives in there. I'm not 100% sure. Let me know in the comment section down below. But anyway, uh, yeah, this is a pretty good card and definitely good support for um, uh, for any rank five deck. Actually, it doesn't say war, so any rank five deck 
yeah, pretty good card. So anyway guys, let me know what you think about it in the comment section down below. Also if you enjoyed the video, remember to give it a like rain and subscribe for more videos. Again guys, this is Ron Panel 1, and I'll see you all next time. Peace.